This is Oryx, and by the end of the video, you'll know how to kill him easily. So first, the best weapons to use for this encounter is the Adept or the normal version of the Reed's Regret Linear Fusion Rifle. And the gold roll for this weapon would be Clown Cartridge combined with Firing Line. You could also use the Taipan Linear Fusion Rifle, as Vestinger makes it great since you don't have to reload as much. And you can combine this weapon with Arbalest. And the final three options for your weapons is to use Storm Chaser, Izanagi's Burden, or even Whisper of the Worm. And for DPS supers, definitely use the Gathering Storm for the Hunter. And if you're Warlock, you could use a Well or even Nova Bomb. And if you're a Titan, you can use a Bubble or maybe even Thunder Crash for the final stand. Also, if you're in an LFG which has players that aren't really good at DPS, there's a great Oryx final stand tip. So for this, instead of detonating two bombs straight away, you can detonate one bomb, then damage Oryx. After that, when you see the wipe animation from Oryx, you can detonate the second bomb. So essentially, you're restarting Oryx so you can extend the final stand. And for the challenge, you have to kill different Light Eater Orgs at night. And to do this, you can rotate place after each damage phase. So you'll get a different orc and knight each time and after learning about how to kill oryx there's still another problem as you need to know how to get spores of conquest quickly through a different encounter in the kingsfall raid and you'll be able to do that through this video shown on screen